the US and China have been locked in an escalating trade battle for almost a year now. According to the IMF, an all-out trade war could shave nearly 2% off China's GDP growth over the next two years. Trump's trade measures are already hurting China, but will they force the country to open up? People are asking, will producers moving out of China? If so, where are they going? Trump's strategy seems to have succeeded so far. Before the tariffs, China's economy had already shown signs of slowing down. One year on, the face-off between the world's largest economies has witnessed China's GDP growth fall from 6.8% in 2017 to 6.6% in 2018, its lowest since 2009. For 2018, the trade war was a theoretical discussion, but in 2019, uh, it's the year when it actually happens. The tariffs that the US has put on Chinese uh, imports are scheduled to go up, and so 2019 is the year when these costs are going to become more real. But China's small and medium-sized manufacturing companies, traditionally the backbone of the economy, are already feeling the negative impacts of Trump's tariffs. If 25% extra tariffs imposed, we, we will lose some client. I will expect we, we will lose about 25% to 30%. Danny Lau's Kampin Industries produce high-quality aluminium facade panels, ceiling and window frames. They specialize in industrial and architectural coating and metal sheet fabrication. With Trump's tariff of 10% on aluminium, the company could potentially lose US orders and net revenues could fall from 15 million annually to around 11 to 12 million US dollars. We export our, our uh, coated and prefabricated panel to US. We are charging them $80 per square meter. So in future, if 25% extra tariff, our client will be paying 100 US dollars per square meter. So they would like us to reduce the price from $80 to $60, but we cannot accept it. We will be on the losing side. Small, medium-sized businesses or exporters from China will definitely be, be hurt from a, uh, from a loss of business. But I think the biggest loser is the U.S. consumer. This tariff is not made, paid by the manufacturers, it's paid for the, by the people who import things, and, and they will inevitably pass it on to their consumer. The escalation of the trade war has rippled through global supply chains, raised costs for businesses and consumers, and shaken up global stock markets. According to Stanley Zito, chairman of the Hong Kong Textile Council, the trade war will just accelerate the process of businesses moving out of China. Even though uh, tariffs have not uh, been imposed on 99% of apparel products, buyers are already, American buyers are already starting to request shifting production outside of China. Because in the past maybe 5-10 years, uh, China was getting too expensive and people were already sort of slowly migrating production outside of China. But this uh, trade war has really accelerated that pace. We are hearing our clients ask us to shift production from our Chinese facilities to our Vietnamese or Cambodian or you know, Southeast Asian facilities. So far, the U.S. has slapped tariffs on 250 billion U.S. dollars worth of Chinese products and has threatened tariffs on 267 billion U.S. dollars more. The main thing that we have uh, understood from this trade war is there are no winners. There's only varying degrees of losers. The global economy and the global supply chains today are so interconnected uh, that nobody can escape the downside of two major economies having difficulties.